सो हेलो एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेल यू हाउ टू क्रिएट इनपुट एंड आउटपुट डॉट टी एक्स टी इन वी वी एस कोड एंड दिस विल बी वेरी हेल्पफुल इफ यू आर स्टार्टिंग डी एस ए और कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रोग्राम एंड सो वी विल सिंपली ओपन आर वी एस कोड एंड आई ओपन इट एंड दर इज अ स्मॉल सेट ऑफ कोड रिटर्न है वेरी सिंपल कोड सो right now i'll just do a test run here and it will show something like this i'm writing it's a 63 and it's returning 63 so it's good now as you can see this is basically a powershell terminal so first of all we need to change that it will only work if there's a command terminal so we'll just go on settings and then command playlists we'll write here terminal now select on select defi default profile and here we will select on command prompt so that's it our first step is done to check we'll just run code and it will show this set of errors <coughs> now for the second step we'll create input and output txt file so i'll quickly create it created it now let's come back to our code and here i will go on fuse option and then edit a layout and split left cool then we'll remove this learn dot cpp from the left side and then click on the input dot txt and then click on views again editor and then split down so it's done we'll just drag this output txt to here and then remove this input.txt from the bottom one our second step is also done we are doing great right now now to execute this basically if i want to give input here like 25 how can, how do i print this uh, print the output in the output.txt for that there are two methods and uh, one is integrating a, a set of code within this main file main code of yours but in this case it won't work for every single file that you will create in this directory you will have to just copy paste in every file the second is the more more feasible one in which we'll just create a task json file and then till the file is in, in is within this directory learn cp it will also always work it's as simple as that so now what we'll do is create task json file we will just go on the settings option again command playlist and here we will write task and uh, you will see task configure task we click here you will see if you build active file options you need to go click on g++ dot e executable file right so we will click here that's it and you can see there is this vs code file automatically uh, created in our directory and within this there is this task.json file so for now we have created task.json file now we need to alter this code which is within this file for this we will just directly go on a github uh, site now i will just search it quickly and here we'll just go on configure files then c and c++ as we are creating the json file for the same and then windows as i'm using the windows now task.json and here here is this set of code we'll just copy it copy and uh, we'll go back to our vs code now control a and then paste we have paste uh, we have pasted our task.json code just save it and that's it all your work is completely done almost 95% of your work is done we'll just close this task.json file because it's already saved now what you need to click is control shift and b 
this will basically build the task or json file every time whenever you give an input so we'll click control shift and b and as you can see the output ha has appeared here uh, in the terminal it's showing red because i didn't change the command so i'll just go here and you can see this blue symbol it it basically means that everything is going perfectly fine the file was perfectly built successfully built and uh, let's say if i write anything other than the, like if i remove this uh, input uh, if i empty my input.txt file then the output.file will basically print the address of that so if i run it again sorry control shift b run won't work here you can see there's this random value 4201019 basically this is the address anyways uh, till now what i'm aware of this is basically address if later on if there's anything else i know then i will update here update it so that's it everything will work fine perfectly fine so i hope you got to learn something new make sure that if you click uh, every time you give an input you click control shift b because it only works for that if you click on run code then it will just show an error this error will be you will see this error so every time you uh, you give an input it's simple plus 15 control shift b there's nothing we'll just click here let's say 67 and control shift b and there's this output oh so i hope this video was helpful to you the link the github link which i used i will uh, link it i'll put it in the description and uh, thank you for watching this video